<laughs> really. And um, I've noticed that uh, people say some very strange things to me and ask me to do very strange things. The other day I had a woman come in and she said, Dr. Goldenberg, I'm, I'm really tired of all the temporary things that you've been doing for me. I want you to do something permanent to fix the wrinkles in my face. And I said, listen, we have a great new invention. It's a knob that you put in the back of your head, and every day you give it a click, and it tightens the skin of your face, it takes the wrinkles away. So she has it installed, everything seems to be fine. About a year later, she comes back and she says, Dr. Goldenberg, I'm very unhappy, I've got bags under my eyes. I say, those aren't bags, those are your breasts. <laughs> She says, Dr. Goldenberg, wouldn't it be a great thing if they made adjustable breast implants? I said, great idea. So I work with the manufacturer. They come up with adjustable breast implants. And you go like this, and they make them larger. <laughs> so we go through the surgery. No complications. Everything's fine. She comes back a couple of weeks later, and she says, she's Dr. Goldenberg, I'm, I'm very unhappy. I was at a bar the other night, and I look around. Nobody's looking at me, and I go like this, and my breasts get larger. Man comes over to me and he says, Do you have adjustable breast implants? And I say, Yeah, yeah, I said, he's, and she says, Yes, I do. And he says, I think we we share the same plastic surgeon. And she goes, How do you know? And he goes, some individual the other day with a horrible wound on his face. And he says, and he said, Dr. Goldberg, I'm going to need a skin graft, aren't I? And I said, I said yes, you are. I'm sorry, you're going to need a skin graft. And he said, I want you to take it from my butt. Your butt? Uh, okay, fine, all right, fine. So we take him to the operating room, and we take skin from his butt, we put it on his cheek. He's doing fine. A couple of months later, he comes in for his post-op. And he says, uh, everything's great, it's healed beautifully. And I say, really, seriously, why did you have skin taken from your butt to put on your cheek? And he says, frankly, he says, every time my mother-in-law comes over and kisses me on my cheek, I just smile. <laughs> so I get called to the emergency room the other day, and there's a man, and he's got a five iron. Oops. He's got a five iron wrapped around his neck. His teeth were all broken. He's broken and twos. I say, what happened to you? He says, well, I was out playing golf with, with my wife. And I sliced the ball badly, badly off to the side into a cow pasture. We're looking, we're looking. We cannot find that ball, he says. We're looking. Finally, I see a cow. I pick up the cow's tail, and I see a golf ball stuck in the ass end of a cow. And I said, honey, this looks like yours. And doc, that's the last thing I remember. <laughs> Headaches are gone. I say, what happened? He said, I went to buy a new suit and I went into a, a, a store on Essex Street in New York and I went in to get a new suit and the, uh, the tailor comes out and I said to him, I'd like to get a suit and I'm a size. And he says, wait, stop, because I've been doing this for 50 years. I know what size you are. I don't have to measure you. Your shirt, for example, is a men's medium with a 16 inch collar. Your pants, or a 34 inch waist with a 32 inch inseam. Your undershirt is a men's medium cotton crew neck, and your underwear is a 34 inch waist boxer. And it says, ah, there you're wrong. I don't wear a 34 inch waist boxer. I wear a 28 inch waist brief. And the guy says, don't do that. You'll get terrible headaches. <laughs> One more. I was, I was traveling in Israel not too long ago, and I see there's an article in the in the Jerusalem Post. It says there's a man who's been who's been praying at the Wailing Wall three times a day for 50 years. It's amazing. 
So I go to the Wailing Wall, and I find the old man, and I say, is it true? Have you been praying here three times a day for 50 years? He goes, yeah. He says, three times a day for 50 years in this spot. I said, what do you pray for? He said, well, the first thing I pray for is build peace. Everybody should get together. There should be no more war, no more war, world peace. Then I pray for equality in races. Everybody should like everybody. The whites should like the blacks. The blacks should like the whites. Equality in the races. And then I pray for the end of world hunger. Everybody should have something to eat. And I said, that's amazing. Three times a day for 50 years. How do you feel about that? And he says, like I'm talking to a fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <literally> <laughs>